Good morning. Oh, good morning. Good morning, Miss Howard. Good morning, Miss Howard. Good morning. How are you? Oh, I'm doing good. Oh, I'm this doing morning. good. This morning. Good, good. I am as well. I cannot complain whatsoever. <laughs> Also, I want to also, tell you I that, uh, that uh, I'm going to enrich the ticket giveaway today. Okay. I have, I a, have book a book by Dr. By Dr. Dr. Brooks, Brooks right here. Right here. That I will oh, give wow. away. He's our very own. He's our very own. Dr. Veronica Dr. M. Brooks here in San Antonio, Texas. Warrior Within. I was just looking at that book. Yeah, so, yeah, she so even, I need to get my, myself a copy. She even signed, she even signed it, it, autographed copy. So she signed all the books. I got, the books. One, I got paperback one paperback and three hard and covers. Three oh, awesome. Hey. That's going to be wonderful. I know that's going to bless somebody. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so tell us about um, what's going on May 19th. So on May 19th, as we've been promoting, we're going to have a family gala. Now, what I want people to remember is that this event is for the family. Your family is determined by yourself. So if that's the family within your household or your community, that is family. So that is what this is for, the 19th. So it's open to male, female, children, everyone, family. We want to reestablish that connection of sitting down at the dinner table and having conversations, not just on our cell phones. I, I have to admit, I find myself doing that. You know, we're at, out to eat, my husband and I, and we're on a cell phone instead of having a conversation. So we want to reestablish that connection of sitting down, having a conversation, talking over the dinner table, all dressed up you know, uh, being able to really have some good dialogue. We have a guest speaker on the 19th, uh, Celeste, who's going to be talking about mental health and the importance of mental health within the family. We also have Dev So Band, who's going to be um, displaying all the uh, the, the good vibes that she brings to the table, the entertainment. Um, her voice is just so exquisite. I just love Dev so. And um, we have some activities for the family as well to be able to participate. We're going to have a photo, um, what is it called? Uh, roaming. And, and, you know, where the families can get together and do a photo, a 20 minute, 20 second, I'm sorry, a 20 second video for the families as well. We'll have a bunch of vendors there where the families can go and shop. It is, again, kid-friendly for this particular event on the 19th. So we don't want people to miss out on the 19th, reconnecting that family unit, being able to, you know, play a couple of games at the table and talk to each other and just have a good time. Yeah, we missed those. And then not only that, you know, I think about it, when I think about my grandkids, I think about the last time I got, because we're empty nesters now, but when was the last time I got them together, all dialed up, dressed up, and took them somewhere? And I have to admit, it's been a pretty, pretty uh, long time. So, you know, just really focusing on that family and getting the kids out there. Oftentimes, we go out and you know, we may go out to dinner as adults, but we don't take the children with us. Or, you know, we go to the black tie events and we don't take the children. This is an opportunity for you to attend a black tie event with your entire family. Yeah, I agree with yeah, you. I agree with you. Because, um, because um, I remember growing up, we sat down at the table. We had my teeth on my back. We sat down at the table. And we all talk yeah, we all about talk in, a day. in a day, in school and all, school that. And all that. And, um, and um, yeah, we don't do that anymore. We don't do that anymore. Not at all. These things spoiled, These things us. spoiled us. And, I mean, we, and we don't even remember phone numbers anymore. I was going to say <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got everybody on auto dial, you know, and or we speak their name and you know, Siri, call so-and-so. 
So we, we really want that connection. We want to create a bond, a new culture within a family unit, not new, but going back to, you know, grandma days and just sitting and having that, that good old conversation, asking about the, the, how their day was, not saying people don't do that. That's not what I'm saying, but we want to be a part of that connection. We want to be a part of that household uh, connection. We're going to have giveaways on that day. The giveaways are designed for the family unit. One giveaway has a board game in it. It has discovering the um, family core values. So often we have family core values that we as parents uh, set, but we don't include the children in the conversation. You know, they have values as well that they establish on them, them uh, they establish themselves. So we want something where as the whole family can establish core values, not just the children, but not, I'm sorry, not just the parents, but also the children be included. So we have something in there for them to participate together to create that family core value. We, uh, core values. We also have other different activities to uh, accelerate the brain. You, you know, thinking forward, how can the family create different activities for later on or vacation, you know, uh, what is it that you can utilize to plan that vacation for the whole family with the inclusion of everyone's voice? We also will have in some how to set up uh, children's own financial accounts. You know, it's so important to establish that. You know, I know one of my sons said to me, Mom, you didn't teach me how to do this or that. And I had to admit, I sure didn't. I felt you on that part. So let's establish that now. Let me teach you that now. I'm sorry. So we're, we're wanting to be able to establish certain things that may not have been established already. I don't want to dismiss and say that something hasn't been established. So we just want to add on to what has already, the foundation that families have already established. We want to give them some tools and resources on that day, on the 19th. So let's go to, let's go to uh, uh, we, got uh, we got you. I seen the long seen the list long of things, things that you things do. That you you want to go over it again for everybody, 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 everybody understand exactly, understand exactly what, 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 you what you do? Yes. So we got you is established uh, as corporation. Sam Consulting established it for us. It was a really quick process. I'll tell you about that later. That was a wonderful process. Um, so we are established corporation. And under We Got You, we have two LLCs and two nonprofits. Well, the nonprofits aren't under the S corporation. They're standalones. But under We Got You, we have aren't Anita's aren't Wellness and End of Life Concierge Service where we cater to the well-being of those who are trying to establish healthy goal sets, uh, life lifestyle changes to be healthier, um, financial management, um, if they're going through a crisis and need to establish some assistance or resources, we help them with that. And then on the end of life side, we go out to hospice care facilities and residents and help those who are at the end stages of their life. We're that constant person that they see on a regular basis. We're the ones that help the family, the eyes, you know, the second eyes of the family to make sure that their loved ones are being taken care of um, in the, the most peaceful way during the life's uh, ending stages. So we're there, we um, have CNAs on hand. In fact, I just finished part of my CNA certification. I think it's important for owner to be able to cater to the same thing that their employees are catering to. So I went and got my CNA, uh, went to Chosen Careers for my CNA to be able to establish that as well. So I take my second part of my certification test 
on this Saturday, on tomorrow, actually. So we cater to that end of life, being able to be a willing, helpful beacon. And that's a job that everyone can't do, but we can at We Got You. And then we have Apostles by Grace Real Estate and Mobile Notary Services. We do property management. We also do real estate sale, lease, um, what have you. We also do document signing, notarization, making sure your documents are up to par and legal. If you're trying to set up a refinance, we're able to talk with your and be the ones that come up to your home and sign those documents as well. So those are our two uh, companies that are under the We Got You. And if it's something that we don't do, we do have resources that are able to step in and fill in that gap because we want you to know whatever it is, we got you. There's no situation that we cannot help with. And if, again, if we don't have it under our belt, we have the resources. And then what we're going to do is find a way so that we can personally have that resource under our belt because we got you. And then yeah. our two yeah. nonprofits. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. So with uh, our nonprofits, again, we have Mothering the Mother and Motherless, and we cater to any individual who is motherless. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what age you are. We are here to help you. Whatever it may be, if it's assisting you or finding resources for counseling, finding medical resources, finding financial resources, we are able to help you. If it's something that, um, for example, I had a single father call me the other day. He has two daughters and he just gained custody of them due to his spouse passing away and the um, other family members had the custody of the, the two daughters. And he, he just asked, he said, I just need someone to help me make sure that my daughters have someone to conversate with them when it comes time for their life cycle. And I said, well, we got you. We can help you with that. You know, what else can we help you with? Especially, you know, as a female, I want to be there, you know, to help with these young ladies uh, as they grow, become teenagers and adults, you know. And uh, so he went down the list, you know, from hair care to properly knowing uh, and teaching them how to take care of their body. And I had to say, you know, I was so happy for this individual saying, okay, I can't do this by myself. It's going to take a community. And he found out through another resource about We Got You and what we're doing and because of the events we have coming up. So, you know, that was a win for us, but also a win for him because we're able to be a part of his children's life, his daughter's life and be able to help be a beacon of hope for, for the entire family. So those are the things that we do under Mothering the Mother and Motherless. We also offer group classes for life skills. We offer financial literacy. We also um, offer mentorship of any type. You know, there's, there's an array of things that we want to be able to help each individual. And we look at not the the every circumstance, every situation as the same. We look at it as individuals because it may be something that that's similar that we may have went through. However, individually, how we handle it is different. We may get to the same end result, but how we went through the process is, it, is different. So we make sure that we interact with each individual on an individual basis for their particular situation and circumstance. No. And that's mothering the no. mother and motherless. Where, where, where were you? Where, 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 uh, years uh, ago, because I was saying and, uh, and uh, raised my daughter. my daughter. I was braiding I was hair, braiding doing hair, all of that. All all of that. I'm from a family I'm of, from nine, a family so of nine. I learned how to do I learned things. How to do 
And this a bunch of small black women in my family. So I hung around Brady here and it was in that. It was in that. When they have a little grandma, to do hair. Oh, so, yeah. So when, when Pressing got, home got, and oh, blue magic oh, grease. There you go. <laughs> and that ugly <laughs> smell, <laughs> smell for eight. <laughs> yes, yes. So I feel so you on that right you there. Right um, there. Uh, I learned. I learned. It wasn't that hard, wasn't that hard with, my with my daughter. My daughter um, doing, um, doing that. It came to that time when she came, that came that of age, and, came of age and, and I didn't know how to explain to her. So I got her auntie to explain things to her because I couldn't explain. Yeah. So that is that is you have right there. I really do appreciate that. Something single parent being courageous. Yes, indeed. We, like I said, we want to really be a beacon of help and hope. And again, there's other organizations that are out there that are doing awesome things. And 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 in my heart, said there's no competition. There's no um, trying to outdo anyone. Or you know, we're not setting a new tone or anything. We're establishing we got you and what we can do for you and how we can partner with you and others um, to be a beacon of help and hope. And that's why I say, if we don't have it under our belt, we definitely know how to find other resources that are out there to be able to help. We just need those who are reaching out to us. We need them to show up. We need them to stay constant and we can do our part as far as the partnership and the relationship. And then we also have Pearls for Destiny. Now, Pearls for Destiny uh, caters to the 12 to 27 year olds. And the reason why it's established for that age group uh, particularly, and it's for females, is because I realized after my, my daughter was grown and on her own, there, there were some things that I missed as a mother. And after looking at her growth as an adult, she's doing awesome. My daughter is just, she's the bomb, right? And I, I contributed to that. But there are some things that I could have did different. Because at a point in a young lady's life, she's going to stop talking to her mother. She's going to need a resource available to her to be able to go to. Because at some point, the conversations are not the same. And because even if you have an open door policy with your children, there's going to be a point where they don't want to tell us everything, right? Yeah. But they need to have something in place. They need to have a resource in place to be able to go and talk to someone, to explore life. So that's what we do with Pearls for Destiny. We start at, again, the age of 12 into 27 because we're looking at the development and the growth of the frontal lobe and when that growth is truly established. So we cater, again, to life skills that are definitely bona fide for the female uh, growth cycle. We also look at their college preparation, SAT assistance, and equipping them to pass the SAT, ACT, or if they're looking to go into a trade, we help them. We help them build their resume. We help them with financial, again, financial literacy is very big, even at the age of 12. You know, they can, at the age of 12, they can start looking and exploring different jobs to be able to get that experience so that when they're older, they have a resume already built up that's powerful and get them those jobs that they want to go into, not the jobs that they have to go into because they don't have the experience. Right, right. So right, that's right. Pearls for Destiny. And, and that is and good and that right is there because right you touched right base with right there. Right there. Um, when I was um, teaching I was that Gary job corps, we had kids who you know, fill out an uh, application for a job. It, it yeah, was because they don't teach that in school. Yeah. They don't yeah. teach critical thinking in school anymore. 
You know, they don't teach that when you sign your name, you include your middle initial. Furthermore, they don't even teach in cursive writing for the most part. Right. You know, right. one of the things I always tell my kids, whatever you do, when you sign your name, you be proud of it. You include that middle initial because there's somebody out there that may have your name and you don't want it to be mixed up. For example, my name is Lakeisha Howard. <laughs> there was a person that was in California who was a notary, just as I am, a mobile notary signing agent. And her name was Lakeisha Howard, spelled the exact same way. Well, guess what? She was getting my checks. So I'm calling the, the title company looking for my check. Where's my check? And they said, well, we mailed it out. Well, what address did you mail it to? And I said, well, that's not my address. I'm in San Antonio, Texas. We had the exact same name. Even though I included my middle initial of D, they still got the checks mixed up because of the exact same name. I have four Lakeishas in my circle and we have Others that know each of us that get our names mixed up when they're sending text messages. So it's included. It's important to include that middle initial, but they don't teach that anymore. So it's up to us as a community, as a village, to be able to pour into our children and teach those things as we're praying for them as well. So those are things that we do with Pearls for Destiny, Mothering the Mother and Motherless, Anita's in uh, Anita's life, as well as Apostles by Grace. We want you to know that whatever it is, we got you. We got you. And it's important that we as individuals, we have to first look at ourselves. And I do that on a regular basis. I'm the first one to accept willingly accept constructive criticism, because in order for me to pour into someone else, I have to make sure I'm straight, right? I can't plant, you know, those roots that we talked about last week, if I'm not okay. So in order for me to do that and to show that we, without a doubt, got, got you, we make sure that we're straight, and then we tap into the resources to make sure that you're straight also. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Man. So, so you got some tickets to give away? You some tickets to give away? Yes, I have some tickets to give away. So we have two tickets for the 19th. That's our family gala. Those tickets for adults are $75. For 12, uh, 12 to, um, I'm sorry, I can't even think of the age. I tell you what, for 12 and under, we're gonna make those tickets $10 today. So the adult tickets are 75. In fact, I tell you what, for those who are listening and can send a text message to WSAN right now, and if you go on to your, um, your Facebook run and also pass this along, for those who tap into WSAN right now and who would like to attend our May 18th, and your children's kids will be absolutely free. And the true tickets are absolutely free. But we're going to for the team. Man, today you have it down. You, you, you are breaking up real bad. You are, you are. I tell you what, okay. why don't you go ahead and log off and log back in again? Go ahead and log off. 
Okay. All right. That is Letitia Howard right there. She's going to log back in again because she was breaking up. Um, as soon as she um, logs back in, we'll, we'll have everything together on our end. And uh, we're just waiting for it to, to come back in again. Now, text me at 210-461-8034 to win those tickets. And also, you will win a book by our very own Dr. Veronica M. Brooks, The Warrior Within. So we're waiting for her to log back in. So I, I love what she's doing with I Got You and everything she's doing, uh, mothering the mother and motherless. I mean, that is great to have, have that around for young ladies out there because we need that guidance. We need that guidance for us to hit up every time. So here she is trying back in again. Okay. While uh, she's chiming in. Okay, is this better? Yes. Hold on a second. I got a phone call. Maybe it's somebody who's calling in. Hold on a second. That was, that was one of my um, Medicaid callers coming <laughs> asking me if I have this. The other day, somebody called and asked me my age. I said, what's your age? And she said, well, I don't know if you qualify if you don't give me your age. I said, well, why you need oh. to see if you qualify? What is your age? She finally hung up on me. But um, anyway, we were talking about the, the, the giveaway. Yes. So for the May 19th, we have two tickets that we're going to be giving away. But also, for those who are tuned in right now, we are going to uh, take the ticket price down from $75 to $50 for adults. And your children get in for absolutely free. Okay. And we have May 20th, our women's um, conversation, a celebration of women. Uh, where we have Constable Kat Brown, who's our keynote speaker. We have Del So and her crew coming along uh, to provide entertainment for us. We are going to have a phenomenal time again. And for the May um, 20th, we also have a panel discussion that's going to take place. Those tickets are $50 for age 13 and up. And it's only for the women. So with that, we're going to take those tickets and we are going to offer three tickets for the May 20th right now here on WSAN. Three free tickets for May 20th for those who are tuning in to WSAN. We're going to give the first three people who make a comment free tickets for the May 20th. And I am logging in on my Facebook as well. Okay. Um, so that you can go ahead and inform everyone. So if y'all want free tickets to the gala and, to, and, and for the women, one's on the 19th, one on the 20th, you go to the Facebook page. We have the live feed right now. Make a comment in the comment section. Or you could call 210-461-8034. And also the first one who calls in or, or chimes in will give them this book. Right here by Dr. Veronica Brooks, The Warrior Within. You have to read this book. This book right here, it sort of deals with what you're doing with the, the mother the, and and all that, it deals with that um, right there because it's a lot of good things in that book. It'll make you cry. It'll make you happy. It'll make you angry. Um, so it's got all that uh, in there without giving everything away. Well, I tell you what, because I truly believe in supporting, I'm going to buy 10 books 
And I'm going to give those 10 books out as part of our giveaways for the event. I'm going to do five on May 19th and five on May 20th. So I'm going to purchase 10 books to give out because if it's touching lives like that, and again, I was just looking at the book myself and here you are offering it as part of the giveaway. You know, so we, we, we're going we're gonna to do something here. All right, let's do it. I, I'm calling the author right now. Oh, she how pick up this morning. See, she pick up. Hey, buddy. Hey, uh, I have you live on the radio. I have this young, young, young lady, Lakeisha Howard. She has something going on on the 19th and 20th. And I told her about your book. It's the um, Mothering the Mothers and Motherless. And she's got something she wants to tell you. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Uh, here's the mm -hmm. author, Dr. Veronica Brooks, Ms. How Mrs. Howard. Um, go ahead and tell her what you're going to do. Hi, Dr. Brooks. How are you? I am good. How are you doing this morning? <laughs> I'm doing wonderful, ma'am. So Ron has talked so much about your book and how awesome it is and how it lines up with uh, what I'm doing on May 19th and May 20th to, uh, we have a family gala on May uh, 19th. And then on May 20th, we have the women's celebration. So what I would like to do is purchase 10 books to be able to give out on May 19th and May 20th for our celebration. And I think that those books will, based on what I've read on the, the back cover and based on what Ron has shared with me, I think those books will be very beneficial to uh, give out to some of the families as well as the single individuals that's at the uh, women's celebration on Saturday. Oh my God, that is so awesome. Thank you so much. I truly believe I, um, enough help. I know. Go ahead. I truly believe in being a beacon of help and blessing, especially for someone that's establishing something for life changing, um, life creating change agents. Yes. Oh my God. You are that I am I don't even know have words to say. I'm just in awe right now. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my God. I mean, I, have, I mean, yeah, I have, uh, yeah, I have ten books here, and yeah, I can sign them. And oh my god, oh my goodness! It's well, we'll have to connect so that um, Ron can pass on your information to me, so that I can get those books because I want to be able to include them in our giveaway baskets that we're creating on tomorrow, actually, in preparation. Okay. 19. Yes, but if you I can, I, oh, go ahead. If you can't get them to me um, today or uh, tomorrow morning, well, tomorrow afternoon, um, yeah, that'll be I'll get them to you today. Actually, be, just let me know where you're at or how we can meet up or Ron. Where I mean, I don't know where to go at. Man, I'm just saying, oh, and I'm so grateful because this has been such a big blessing, you know. Not only for me, but just the other free and other women and uh, even men have been free just because awesome. of my story. And I'm so grateful. You just don't know how grateful I am and able to be just such a blessing to everyone else. And you came and just blessed me totally. And I'm just in an aha moment right here. I don't even, I, I'm just so grateful. I'm like speechless and I'm like, I can really, really talk. But it's like now, I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> well, that's what, that's what this is about, right? This is about connections and, and had Ron not said, you know, I'm going to do something along with your giveaway. We wouldn't be having this conversation. So thankfully, you know, he decided to do something. And because of that, that was a chain reaction. And a, a good one, right? A good one. 
So someone Ooh. is going to be blessed with your book. Ten individuals um, are going to be blessed with your book. Oh my God. Oh my God. And I know I, I know for a fact because people are calling me from even Japan, you know, two o'clock in the morning, they're crying and they're grateful from Australia, from Italy. I said, oh my God, it's just hit everywhere and it just exploded. But that's how when you give your whole soul and truth and honesty of your life, you really just open up and just basically sell out to God. And I'm like, oh my God. People and are it, really I, giving delivered. You just never know, you know, who needs that. But it also reminds me that you never know who's watching you, right? You never know who's exactly. taking their from you. And then here you go. They they've been watching you for years, right? And then you yeah. produce this book. And now they see why they've been watching you all these years. They see the strength, oh in, you know, and I'm just looking at the cover of the book. They see the strength and the power in that cover and it becomes reality. Man, this is why I've been watching her all these years. This oh is why I can, you know, this particular lead from her all these years. So you just opened the eyes. That's why you're getting a midnight hour phone calls or, you know, someone willing to come in and, and purchase 10 books. And there's more purchases, I'm sure, coming way. But all because someone else was watching you and spoke the things that they've seen and read through your book so far. So I, I can't help but to line up with that. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Rock, I, man! I'm just, I'm just, I don't even know what to do right now. I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, oh my god! This, this, just... this, this is my sister. Um, not biologically, oh but this is my sister. I love her very much, and oh. I told her whatever I could do, do for her, I would do. And um, Veronica is what I, what I told her. That book will make you happy. It'll make you sad. It'll make you angry. And I told yeah. her that right there and said, this is a book. And what she explaining with her, with her um, um, 501c3 is doing and um, um, her company is doing. I said, this would be perfect to read because this would touch everybody's heart. Oh, my God, Ron. I, I'm just like, wow. I, I'm, I haven't stopped. Got, I keep getting the calls. Everything <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I just love people and I know I'm a huge giver, always supporting everybody, but man, it is really pouring out on me and I don't even know what to do. Just keep accept it. Going. <laughs> accept it. Accept it. Just accept it. That's one of the, the hardest things for givers to right. do is accept yeah. and return. Oh my God. Turn. So only thing that you can do is accept these blessings that's coming through. And, you know, I can already hear who you are. So, Veronica, oh, what, what I'm going to do, if it's okay with you, um, um, once we get off the show, I'm going to uh, share your phone number with um, uh, Mrs. Howard so she could call you. That'd be okay? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. my goodness. I'm just about to ex I mean, I think I'm already exploding. I don't even know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is well, I look forward to seeing just... you sometime today. Um, I'll give you a call. And I'm on the northwest side of town. So we'll meet somewhere or um, and we'll we'll make, the, make this happen. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, thank you. I just... I'm I'm so grateful. You just don't know how grateful I am. Oh my God. This is just a miracle. All right. Well, <laughs> I, I know I didn't wake you because you get up early, but uh anyway, um we'll we'll I'll I'll, I'll call you after the show so so you can slap me around like you do big brothers, okay? <laughs> Oh, oh my God! Thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, you I'm, I'm just... okay. You take okay. care, Veronica. Okay. You... 
Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. okay bye. bye. You know, Ron, it is so important to support um, each other in, in what we do, especially if it's making an impact on human beings, taking them to that next level, you yeah. know, get out of that rut. You know, one of the things from military, we always, you know, we want you to know we got your back. You know, we got yeah. you six, we got you nine, we got you. Um, and, and it doesn't matter what the business is if it's supporting the the human being i i am all for it i i really am because we have to be there for each other yes we it's a must and if 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 we can't support financially we can support with our time we can you know volunteer we can do something to be a beacon of support and that that's what we do you know, we'll find out. That's what we do. Well, I, I agree with you on volunteering and all that because I, I volunteer. Like I said, I retired. And my wife said, you are busy more now than you was working. I said, yes, but I love what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's the key to it. it. I love what I'm doing. And it, it's never a job at that point. Right. When you do love, it's never a job because you love doing doing it. You know, like I said, I have a nine to five. But it's not a job to me. I go in there. Yes, I'm working for someone else. But I love what I do. Yes. And I'm committed to doing it and to, for the next 12 years. I said until I'm, I'm 62, I will, I will stay at this nine to five and do what I love doing. Regardless of where I'm at in this, this facility, doing what I do. I love it. And then I also work my own businesses and I give just as much to my business because I love what I do yeah. because it's all about helping individuals. That's what it's all about. That's why we want you all to tune in and get these tickets for free. We also want to get you these discounted tickets for May 19th. You'll only pay $50 for the adult tickets and the children will get in free as long as you download WSAN and comment on our link, then we will give you the discounted rate. And we're going to give two tickets away for May 19th. Just the first two that make a comment on WSAN will get two tickets to the May 19th Black Tie Gala. And then for the May 20th Celebration of Women, we're going to give three tickets for the first three people who make a comment on WSAN radio. We're going to give you three tickets for the Women Celebration with our guest speaker, Constable Kat Brown, Dev yeah. and our panel discussion. This is for young ladies, 13 and up. And I'm telling you, this panel is awesome. So you got three free tickets there. The ticket price, I can't take down. Those are $50. But May 19th, those tickets are $50 as well for adults. And we're giving two tickets away. We got Del Sol and the band, and we got Celeste as our keynote speaker, and she has a powerful activity that she's going to be um, having the families participate in. So come on, get your tickets. We want to support you as you, and we want you to support us. Okay. We do have one person in comment already. That's the vet. Okay. You made a comment already. Uh, let me see. This is awesome. Look like, uh, for Cheryl, she made a comment already. So it looks like, and I'll, I'll get that information to you. Okay. Sounds good. And everything. So, but, and on top of that, we're going to also give this book away too. So we got that going on. Wow. You know, this is awesome. It, it, it's a small world on how we met and how we're connecting 
And, and, and that's that's uh, important in the black community. Support each other. That that is so crucial in order for us to uh, get along and see how things are working. Because um, we can't do this by ourselves. Not at all. By ourselves. We 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 um need, like you brought up a point. Like I'm a giver. It's hard for me for somebody to give something to me because I feel why. And I had um. Martha Rice saying, Ron, you're a giver, except when somebody's giving something back to you. It's hard for me to receive because I'm so used to giving and I'm not looking for nothing in return. And um, that's just how I am. Uh, because a lot of people out there in business, they do something for you. And at the same hand, they got their hand out looking for something in return. Well, yes. I'm looking yes. for that. I'm not looking for that at all. I'm just out like doing things for people. And you know what? I, I was at one of my um, my organizational meetings that I go to. And one of the things I told them that that I struggle with is accepting, you know, something in return or the accolades. I, you know, I, I find it hard to to accept those things um, because I'm not doing it for that purpose. I'm doing it because it's it's something that I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about human beings. And now I'm fur, fur babies as well. <laughs> but I'm passionate about serving. The, I, I have a servant's heart. So it 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 it's hard for me to accept or, you know, those accolades or accept gifts. But I'm changing that because it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. To receive that accolade because I did something that's beneficial to someone else. So why not accept the accolade? Because that's them expressing their gratitude. So I don't want to, to insult them by saying, oh, it's okay, because that may that may hurt someone's feelings. Yeah. So why not be accepting of those things and happy? about accepting those things. May it be an accolade, may it be a gift, may it be of their time, whatever it is. Yeah. So I guess it's, it's all about changing our thought process, right? Yeah, because you know, we give out to the community and uh, you. I don't know if I'm talking for you, but we're not looking for nothing in return. I'm just looking out to get the word out to let them know what's going on. Because I tell everybody this radio station is your platform. Because when I'm out talking about the radio station, I never talk about this is my radio station. This is it. I say, this is WSAN, this community-based radio station. This is your platform. You want to come on the show and say something that is here for you. Now, yeah. I, know it's, I know it's my station. I know that. But I never broadcast this out. Because if anybody ever hear me talk, I'm always talking about WSN radio, what we could do for the community. And I see you doing the exact same thing that you out yeah. talking, doing things for the community. It's not I, 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 I. It's for everybody. Yes. And and even like with my committee, I say my because they are part of me. Mm -hmm. It's not about me, you know, my, my, like you said. But even with the committee, you know, they're out there they're they're being a beacon of help and hope to everyone. They're spreading the word about what we do. And it's their their event as well. It's not just maybe I thought of the event, but it's theirs. Anyone who connects to the event, put their name on the event, put their photo. This is their event as well for the community. Right. Oh, speaking about the event, I want to ask you, um, do you still have vendor spots? I do. I still have vendor spots. What we're asking is the vendors to purchase a ticket. And that ticket allows them to have a meal plus their setup. They don't have to bring a tablecloth. They don't have to bring a table. We have everything that they'll need. All they need to do is bring their items. We will also have a banner for them as well. If they have a pop-up uh, sign, they're welcome to bring their pop-up sign. But we have everything that they need. They can contact me at 210-559-0701. 
and our team will make sure that they're taken care of. So there is still vendor slots available. We have a huge room that our vendors will be able to be, in, uh, that will be stationed at, and they'll be able to connect with each other as well. So, you mm -hmm. know, being able to um, look at other vendor events with each other, as well as share and network. So we do have a room for our vendors and we do have additional space. Again, we just ask that you purchase a ticket for each event and we will make sure your items are showcased. We'll also put your business card in our program book. Okay, I'm looking because um, I, I, I'm going to give you a call later on and make a decision on what the radio station is going to do. I'm going to make sure I have nothing... Um, book that that weekend and I, i'm gonna get a hold of you because i believe in giving back to myself so uh well, let, let me check it out and um i'll get back with you because that sounds like something that will benefit um the radio station and your cause too well i you know i tell you what from us sitting down on that first day of meeting each other you have truly been a beacon of a blessing and i really really appreciate that because I don't want to get emotional because I'm one of those ones I cry easily. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I really, I really, really do because I know that you have went beyond my expectation and I greatly appreciate all that, that you're doing for We Got You, for Apostles by Grace, for Anita's Wellness and End of Life, but especially for our nonprofits, Mothering the Mother and Motherless and Pearls for Destiny and these two events that we have coming up on, once again, May 19th, the Family Gala. You don't want to miss out on it. And May 20th, a celebration of women. And if you, for some reason, and please read the word run as always, as also, if financially you are not able to purchase a ticket, that's okay. Just give us a call. We got you. We yes. literally, we want those who want to attend our events, we want them to be there. And we don't want anything to hinder them not being able to be there. We know everyone isn't going to be able to be there, but we know yes. that there are some. And regardless of how many are in the room, we're going to give them everything that we have to give them as if it was a room full of people that's that's good you got we got a couple of comments right here uh, one is saying um uh, it's a blessing for you the other one say you yes you are worthy to receive to be to god be the glory i mean Amen. they're just praising you on here uh Somebody says San Antonio has a black radio station. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> so uh, you know, spread the word to everyone else. Yeah, because because every time we go out, here's Monique Robinson. Hello, I'm watching. Um, you know, there's people on here that these are new people that, that's coming aboard listening. And I yeah. really do, do appreciate that. They're they're coming on board, checking us out, checking you out. WS Radio is such a blessing to our city. DJ Ron G, you're awesome. Oh, thank you. You're going to make me cry, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that was from Vachero, um, the vet. And I tell you, uh, they are just all on here just doing their thing. Plus, Veronica Brooks is probably sitting back just hollering right about now. So I'm going to give her a call after the show. But uh, you are a blessing. You are a blessing because the first time we met, there was a connection and chemistry there. People don't understand that chemistry when you could talk where you don't have to be like a dentist and pull the information out. You just flow with the information. And that's what I like hearing when we're doing things like this because you a beacon right now on what you're doing. And then when I asked you, can you send me pictures from the previous ones? You send me the pictures. And like she said, she didn't ask me to do that. I put a slideshow together. Yes. It's a commercial. Yes. I did that. And I told her, well, I'm going to put your commercial on other times. I end up putting it on every hour of the hour. My, my yeah. husband, in the, I was upstairs 
and my husband was downstairs and I had my phone on and I was listening to to the station because I, I you know I love WSAN radio I'm so happy I've been introduced to it so I listen to it especially Saturday mornings when I'm I'm trying to clean up and so I came downstairs and my husband say I think I just heard something on the radio mother and the mother and motherless I said, now, did you? Because <laughs> I hadn't talked to him or told him anything yet. I was just hoping yeah. that moment he would hear. Um, and so I said, yeah, Ron, Ron Gordon um, over at WSAN. And I met him and I told him all about our experience and everything. And he, and next thing I know, he said, it's on again. I said, that's a different time slot. That's not what he told me. I said, well, praise God. Thank you. <laughs> Remember I told you I can throw it in the sun. So I got it on um, once an hour during the Motown sound. The Motown is on then. It's on the jazz. It's on the blues. It's on Monday through Friday. It's it's on all the places. So it's there. So well, I'm, I, letting, I'm letting everybody know that it's out there. I appreciate it. I tell you what. So how much more time do we have? About four minutes. Okay. So I want to I want to say something about something that you said last week. And when we were talking about how much goes on in the background of creating and putting together events. Yes. I tell you that for our audience, you do not want to miss out on these two events that we have on May 19th, the Family Gala, and May 20th, a women's celebration. You don't want to miss out, not because of, you know, what we're doing, but because of the heart behind it. Yeah. The hearts behind this event have been working diligently they have been out looking for different things to be able to be a blessing to those who are in the audience. I'm telling you, when we say we are putting together an event that's going to be a blessing, that's exactly what we're doing. And there's a lot of things that go on in the background as far as putting together everything, making sure that the program is okay, making sure that if there's a hiccup, we're able to do a quick recovery from that hiccup, making sure that um, if there's a need, we're able to meet that need on the spot, the logistics of everything, making sure the uh, location has everything set up and properly, making sure that the food is, is delicious to everyone. Um, there's a lot of things that go on in the background. But what we want you to know is the heart, the heart that's behind these two events I, I I tell you what, hands down, they are a part of my family. They may not be blood relation, but they are my family. And they have diligently been putting forth their heart to make sure those of you who are able to make it on May 19th and May 20th leave with something implanted in your heart from We Got You and everything that's under, we got you. So come on, purchase your tickets, get these free tickets that we have to offer and contact us if you need financial assistance with getting your tickets. We don't mind helping. That's what we're here for. If, we hadn't, if you haven't heard anything else about this uh, particular radio broadcast, you should hear the one thing, and that is we are helpers. We are givers. We want to see everyone win. And we can do that in partnership and in relationship with each other. So you give us a call, 210-559-0701, or chime in on WSAN or Lakeisha D. Howard, 
Facebook. All right, Lakeisha. Wow. Where has this hour went? I know. It was I know. So 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 we got you back next week, too. Yes. I remember yes. Uh, behind the scenes, um, as we talking, I talked to her and I said, Lakeisha, this is what we're going to do. We're going to have you on every Friday. Every Friday, we're going to have you on. So and so, uh, let me see. The next Friday is the 12th. So we ha we'll have you on the 12th and we're going to have you on the 19th too. Yes. The yes. Day of. We're going to have you on that. But uh, going forward, we're moving the show an hour later. So it's going to start broadcasting at 10 a.m. So that's what we're going to do. That's all our shows are moving up an hour because some of the feedback that I got from people who enjoy the show, they got to watch the tape version. Um, later on, they want to see it live, so they're not up. I said, you know, we could accommodate that. We go to ten o'clock. So, so um, the next week, um, ten o'clock in the morning next um next Friday. Okay. And the Friday after that, ten o'clock in the morning, because I know you're gonna be busy doing things, but you don't have to be on for a whole hour if you got dash to go somewhere. Just give us an update on everything, on things that's going on, because I am passionate about your um. Uh, what you're doing and um that is a good community effort that you're doing for the community here in san antonio well i'm excited i'm excited please don't forget chime in we got tickets for you and we got discount rates so those discount discounted tickets that's going to be for the entire day for those who chime in but we're going to give the first two tickets um to people who chimed in for the 19th we have two tickets and we have three tickets for May 20th. But again, you let us know what your need is and we'll let you know that we got you. Okay. All right. We appreciate it. And I'll, I'll send that information to you. I already text you Veronica Rook's phone number already. Yes. I'm going to give her a call right now. Yeah. So you take easy and thank you for coming on board. Can't wait to see what you got planned next week. Yes, me too. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ron. All right. You take care. All right, okay, bye.